coming up with business ideas is not very hard but coming up with the right business ideas now that is completely different it's a different type of story okay so in today's video i'm going to show you how to come up with business ideas that work for where you are because when something works in Joburg, it might not necessarily work in Pretoria, it might not necessarily work in another province. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to come up with business ideas that work for you, for your community, for your area, or even specifically for your province. So the last tip is my favorite, so I'm going to be sharing that with you. Uh, so stay tuned and get through the end of the video. Take out your notebook, you're going to need it. Let's start. Today's video is inspired by this book which is called Wake Up and Change Your Life. It is absolutely my favorite and he goes through everything you need to know about starting a business including yourself and understanding yourself. So let's start with the first thing that you need to know with coming up with business ideas or what you think you need to think about when you come up with business ideas. So basically there are three types of businesses that you can come up with. The first one is a solution-based business. I'm going to go into details a bit, a bit with these um, headings. So the first is solution-based, the second is copycat business, and the third is innovative or innovation business. So when we speak about solution-based business, these are the type of businesses that are you come up with when you think wouldn't it be nice like wouldn't it be nice if you could go to a restaurant and these people uh, introduce themselves and stuff like that wouldn't it be nice if we had a hospital near or this near us so those type of ideas um, is you need to see yourself and you need to um, recognize when you go to a place and you're like oh, it would be so nice if this was here because if you thought about it and you felt it that means that other people also felt the same way or they thought about the same thing so for example if you have the restaurants and stuff like that where you think the service could be better wouldn't it be nice if I could get better service or the waiters and waitress wore the same uh, uniform and stuff like that you come up with um, a business uh, for making uniforms for restaurants or you come up with a school for training uh, waiters and waitresses because you feel that you can do better or they should do better and they need to do better because that's going to improve on the business and the experience that customers have and that means that they will come back so that is a business idea basically you need to think about how you can make your potential clients life easier or better better experience at the restaurant better you know quicker quicker distance from here to that hospital shorter distance from here to that hair salon instead of going to one in certain or instead of going to one somewhere else that you have to drive kilometers so think about wouldn't it be nice wouldn't it be nice if this or that obviously keep it real uh, some things it would be nice to have but are they realistic you know so let's go to the second point the second is copycat businesses. You don't always have to try and come up with something new. People that started businesses, they didn't come up with an idea. Most of them did not. They saw something that was not working well, they improved on it, and it became better. Steve Jobs did not come up with a cell phone, but he came up with an iPhone. Um, there's many examples. People did not, like uh, most companies that are here today, they did not come up they were not the first to innovate that business idea, but they improved on it. So you need to think about where can I improve on what is already there. When I started digital marketing, there was already people in the digital marketing space. I wasn't the first one to do it. And I thought about how can I make my services stand out from the rest? Okay, I have this background that I can use from the company where I used to work, or I, have this skill that I see other people lacking in terms of me showing up on YouTube. Other digital marketers don't do that. Most of them do not do that. And if I show up on YouTube, how am I showing up on YouTube different from those that are already here? So that's how you set yourself apart. 
sometimes when you look around you see something that is already there but then you can see that this this shop say maybe you have a um, sandwich shop you can see in your area like okay the sandwiches are nice and all of that but they, in this particular location there isn't enough people for this shop to become very successful so you come up with uh, a shop at another location that you know is going to be very successful, you move it from there. Or sometimes you see a business that is just local and they're not online, but you can see that, hmm, if they went online, they might do better. And then you do that and you end up making better money than they are, you know? So you always look at things that are around and how can I improve on those things? The third type of business is innovation where you really come up with something that people haven't thought of not a lot of people can do that <laughs> but it is possible for you to come up with something that nobody has come up with before that one is a, a bit even more riskier because you don't know how people are going to welcome this new thing sometimes people fight initial things before they accept them and start using them People that thought of cell phones or even the idea of a phone were thought to be crazy. People that came up with computers were thought to be crazy. So when you are the one who is initiating something, you might look crazy. So get ready for that. But it might just be what creates an entire new industry. So you don't knock it. But the first two have uh, been proven to be the ones that make people more successful than you know the innovation ones but if you like innovation you can watch the dragon's den and all of those type of shows to see what people come up with so where can you get new business ideas on your own you can watch the news if you're a business person you know that when there's problems they create uh, opportunity that's what entrepreneurs understand they solve problems so if there's like change say maybe government decided to change uh, certain laws that drivers cannot drive uh, from this area to that area or drivers cannot drive this amount of distance you can see that it opens up another industry if you know that there isn't a lot of drivers in your areas and the ones that are they they are mostly in this province so they're not allowed anymore to drive too long for uh, you know for delivery or to go to a certain place now you can start your own company in that area because you know that they cannot come here easily or frequently so it opens up um, you know opportunities when you're watching news watch news with an eye to catch opportunities not just to read about uh, celebrities and what they're going through and all the um, terrible things that's going on in the world but look out for changes that might be cultural changes that might be technological changes that are going to affect the way that people use their phones and this stuff like that like AI that's something to look out for how can you take advantage of that um, climate change, um, you know, how are things changing? If we're going to have long winters now, that means that there's more business in, in winter where you can make winter clothes or winter gadgets or something like that. But watching the news is definitely a way to come up with business ideas. Another way to come up with business ideas is to know what annoys you. <laughs> so I spoke about restaurants earlier. I get annoyed when I see seven people standing by the door at a restaurant when you know that they should be inside helping people. So what annoys you and how can you solve that annoyance? Are you passionate about solving that annoyance? There is a business. If it annoys you, it probably annoys other people. So there's a business, guys. Think about what annoys you. Another way to come up with an idea is to read the financial sections of the news. These days you don't even need to buy a newspaper. You just need to go online and look at how the rent is doing against the dollar, the whatever, what changes are happening um, you know, with the economy. Are there more people coming into South Africa for agriculture or are they coming for holidays or are they investing in this uh, sector more than the other sector? Which sector is lacking but needs but has uh, potential investors but simply because people are not uh, moving to it then you know then um, you are losing out basically like um, in in housing actually you can get funding uh, there are agencies where you can get funding to start a business in the rural area so they want people that move out of housing so that they can develop those provinces where you know 
everybody's trying to flock here but how can you move the people to there how can you start a business that side you put together a plan you do that and then you know they move you that side but that's where the economy is, is moving you know so you know what is going on financially in the country in the world another way to come up with an idea is to look at your current work environment so when i was still in corporate i saw that um, there was a lot of backlog of customer support like and south africans because it was an international company south africans operate differently from international customers while international customers don't have have much less problems with paying uh, their accounts south africans sometimes want to negotiate and talk to people even more on the phone they don't do technology logging in to see where your account is and stuff like that so when you send people um log in instructions they don't want to do it they want to speak to you on the phone to find out what's going on with their account so that customer support just it just became like a backlog of trying to uh, support customers so how can you solve the problems that you see your company going through now if i was um in that position obviously you can't start like a direct competitive company but if you were to be an independent customer support person or customer support consultant or customer support company then immediately you have um, a solution for problems that a lot of companies in South Africa are facing and don't have the capacity to deal with it sometimes sometimes they have the capacity but they don't have the understanding on how to deal with it so there's another idea another idea is to look at your hobbies your interests uh, what do you enjoy doing do you enjoy cooking after work do you enjoy baking do you enjoy playing with kids you know you can start a crash do you enjoy or even after K it doesn't have to be a crash do you enjoy teaching little kids you can start a you know weekend um, daycare thing where you teach kids how to read how to write how to speak if that is your passion you can start a business with it so take a look at yourself <laughs> A great way to come up with business, this is my last sort of point, a great way to come up with business is to walk around your neighborhood. Walk with your eyes open. Walk with your imagination open. First of all, if you see there's a queue at a place, either that place is doing well, like if they sell part or whatever, they are doing well, getting there and see what they're doing that is right, that is making people queue up in order to buy whatever they're selling. Or maybe they cannot handle the amount of customers that they have. So that means that if you open and you do something similar, you will get customers. There is customers in that area. Secondly, you need to look at what is missing in your area, in your hometown, that people would be traveling to other places to experience or to do. Things like trampoline. I don't know if you've went to Bounds. In the township, there isn't... Uh, bounce incorporated or whatever but you can buy trampolines and have kids bouncing for five rent for 30 minutes get off five rent 30 minutes and all of that you can make money with that so look at things every community has to have certain things like entertainment areas entertainment places or hair salons or gyms or cinemas so when you go to one area say maybe you go to Midrand and you see oh they have like a pool here or something here that's close and the kids love it they enjoy it take it to the township for example and build something that is a bit more affordable for that area obviously and then start doing that in that area so look at what is missing and fill the gap that's how you come up with an idea Thirdly, you need to look at what kind of people predominantly are in your area. If there's a lot of young people, uh, say maybe teenagers, they're looking for a place to hang out with their friends. They're looking for a cool place. I don't know if the kids are still saying cool. <laughs> but they're looking for a cool place to hang out. So why don't you come up with uh, something that will cater to them? The guys, maybe they're looking to, for, you know, PlayStation, play PlayStation and all of that. Um, 
or if there's a lot of kids in the area you know their parents are busy they're working and stuff like that but they're looking for a place to go and play with their friends and stuff like that that is safe so there's a market how can you get those kids off of the streets because I'm sure that some of the parents will actually prefer that they're not in the street but they're at a place where they can play safely and they can come home or get delivered home after uh, you know they've had fun wherever they are that's something that some parents in the township might need that they don't get whereas in the suburbs maybe there is um, you know a place like that for kids and lastly look at who is in the wrong location so I've ch touched on it a bit um, if there's a business that you can see that is it can do much better if it was in another area then why don't you think about doing that business so with that being said please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can keep teaching you guys how to start your business but mostly how to market your business because a lot of people come up with business business ideas are many but how are you going to get your customers that's something that people don't think about and this is something that I'm going to address in the next video and also I'm going to be going through uh, people's adverts on Instagram and Facebook so that we can look at them together and see where they're making the mistake so guys subscribe to my channel thank you so much for those that have already subscribed and those that like my videos I hope you are doing well and I wish you financial and emotional and mental and spiritual success stay blessed and see you in the next video